Yeah, so ResearchGate is basically a professional network for scientists um, where they can make their research visible. Um, they can exchange knowledge and know-how and can start collaborating, with, start collaborating with other scientists on a worldwide scale. And we have now 2.6 million members um, signing up several thousands like new signups per day. Um, and we started in May 2008. Um, like in general, it's biology, medicine, computer science. But if you look, look very like a little bit more specific, it's neuroscience, genetics. Yeah, these are the top um, science disciplines. But basically, all science disciplines, you know, from medicine over computer science, physics, chemistry, social science, they're all represented on ResearchGate. The main usage is basically that they have a place to upload their research data and make that visible um, and searchable for other scientists. Um, one very popular area is the topics area where they're discussing research related issues um, and one success story we had, um, we, have, we had several already. Um, there was, a, was an Italian professor, Orazio Romeo, who was usually traveling to Africa um, to collect samples from patients and to analyze them. Uh, but because of the financial crisis he could not travel to Africa and he asked in ResearchGate if anyone can send him samples of patients with a specific characteristic set. Um, and some like Emmanuel from uh, Nigeria replied and said, I have all these samples and I don't have the equipment to analyze them, so I can send them to you. And he sent these samples then to Italy. Uh, Orazio in Italy analyzed them and found a new uh, yeast type which was never detected before in Nigeria. Um, and um, they you know, published that paper together and now they're collaborating and um, they are coming more papers out of that. This is one story. We have many others from various areas. from green chemistry over cancer research to viruses, infectious diseases. Yeah. So my background is medicine. I'm a medical doctor. I did my PhD in molecular virology. So I was always doing research for several years. Um, then I was in Boston for a long time doing research there and I was stuck in a problem. So I could not solve a specific problem I had end of 2007. And I started looking for someone helping me to solve solving this problem. So I used the Google, I used Google, I used different databases which we use in science, but they all did not, um, you know, have uh, the features I was looking for, and I couldn't find this 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 uh, this person I was looking for. And then I just came up and said, you know, there has to be a network for scientists where exactly, you know, people can make their research visible, and you can search for it, and you can start collaborating with them. And I called my friend Søren Hofmeier, um, and in Germany, he was in Germany, so I called him and we discussed it on the phone and said, okay, let's do it. I started in Germany, so I wanted to work in Germany as a medical doctor and I, I noticed that I cannot do both at the same time. And then I um, asked my professor in the medical school of Hanover if he could give me half position as a doctor and the other half I would like to do research gate. And he told me that, you know, scientists are not social, this will never change, you cannot change it, focus on your academic career, you're 27, you're almost, you know, you're almost professor, uh, don't, uh, you know, get, your, get this further funds out of your head, like, this, you know, this bird shit out of your head. Mm -hmm. And I quit my job one day later and I called my professor in Harvard and asked him the qu same question, can you give me half position? And he said, yes, of course. So I went back to Boston and, you know, started ResearchGate there and then in 2010 I met Matt Kohler from Benchmark and everything changed then from then. Fantastic. And I think I read somewhere about your old professor, how he's now on ResearchGate. Yes. <laughs> he just, what was that like for you? To he just signed up. We have on, in our company, we have a screen where you uh, see the names of people who are signing up right now. Um, and the scientists. So I was looking at it and um, I just saw the name of my professor and I was like, I was confused because I thought someone was doing, making a joke and then I checked it out and it was him and he's now using it very regularly, uploading his publications and uploading other data sets, following other scientists and other professors. So he's an old guy, he's like 60 something, so you, you see that even older scientists start you know, um, um, using that platform. Yeah. I knew that if you want to change the world, if you want to make something very big and if you want to impact society, people have to be creative and if they only can be creative if you give them the room to be creative and this is by giving them, you know, this is a whole game floor, we are right now on the game floor where we have like a table tennis, a pool, an air hockey, a foosball, sleeping rooms, 
uh, PlayStation and we offer for every employee food every day so you can order from from three different um, food uh, from different food types every day or meals uh, you can order one and um, you know, all these and then we have one feel good manager Stephanie I think you know her she is just taking care of all these things also about events playing soccer playing tennis uh, playing squash all these things just organized by her we have we also um, rented a gym which is close by um, so uh, where you know you everyone can go and play you know soccer and basketball volleyball all, yeah I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's um, that's my dream. What I'm doing right now, I impact whole science and you know, in general, basically all of us. And I always wanted to make something big. Um, I always was a little bit uh, crazy in that regard. Um, I think I won't get back. I I think that's something what I will do for a long, long, long time. <laughs>